Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Sunday, and we are headed out shopping. Girls are up and looking gorgeous in their matching purple hair. Gabby is summer. I don't know if you know that. But it's going to be, it's so hot outside today. Like, so hot. We literally waited hours. Like, we all were just sitting here on the couch waiting for Gabby to get ready. And she's dressed for winter. We're going out into the hot, hot sun. Do you want to get changed? No. All right. What are you playing? A horse game. What horse game? I don't know what it's called. Sophie, what's it called? I don't know. All right. So, the girls have found well, a I new. I should sponsor us. Hey, I played it, like. Four is it a horse game? racing one? Is it Horse Haven? No. So the girls found a new horse game. They played it four years ago, but they Sophie wants them to sponsor us. They don't know what it's called. So it's a jumping game. It's a jumping game? Like a game for jumping? Jumping horse. No, I don't go for the final! Jumping Horses no. Championship. That's the name of it? Two. Uh, so yeah, other players. Horse Jumping Champions 2. Anyway, we're headed out because we have special shopping to get done today. Are you excited? Yeah. Alright, we also have an extra special surprise today. Alright, let's go. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Sunday. I am in the car waiting for my family to get their butts in the car because we have some fun shopping to do today. Uh, Molly is with me. She already has the idea that if we're going in the car, she's going with us. She's pretty, uh, she's a pretty smart puppy. Anyway, today she is lucky because she does get to go with us. So Molly and I are officially the fastest ones in our family. While we wait for Sam, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm reading a new book. This is my book shelf right now. These are the books that I'm reading right now. I'm reading Behind Her Eyes. It looks like this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I started it yesterday on the way to the beach and I can't get over how good it is. So we are in line. Get back to lines. I Do you like that one better? I hate those ones. Let's stand behind the line here. Well, it's I like these ones. Me. Have you tried these ones? These are so nice. So we all have our own mask preferences. Dad bought more masks for us. Why my gas? Okay, so what are we doing at this store? Oh, wow. this is the dog so basically, what we're doing yeah, is you guys know we're getting a kitten. This is the same thing. What you don't know is that we decided. I know I love those. What did we decide, Sophie? We're getting two. It's salmon. <laughs> We're getting two kittens. And the reason behind that is, you guys know that I don't like the idea of a barn cat. I hate the idea of a barn cat because there's just so much risk. You know, we took care of our trainer's cat for a year and a half before she was ready to have her at her farm. And with our cats, I think we're gonna do things a little bit differently. One, we're getting two so that they're motivated to stay home. Two, we are gonna get them spayed and neutered so that they aren't motivated to go roaming. And we're gonna do our best to keep them around our barn. So today we're shopping to get all the things we need for our two kittens. Do you think the horses would like that? Do you think the horses would like that? Oh my gosh, we should get it. Do you think Chino would like that? They would be scared of it. But he'd only be scared of it for a short time. I do want to get a toy for our, our horses. I do want to get a toy for Chino. That sounds like Toby. That sounds like Toby. I was thinking about getting Chino uh, stuffy with a noise in it. You think Chino would like a donut? Molly would like it. I think it's this. This is perfect for Chino. He can carry it, it with a rope. Heavy duty. Is it heavy duty? <laughs> Trusty pup, tough and fun. Get this for Molly. No, I want that for Chino. Molly can learn how to hunt. I'm getting this. This is kind of neat too, but it's not as enjoyable to touch. And I can't find a. Oh yeah, there's a squeaker. Oh, what are the things we need? Oh, those are adorable. Does it have catnip in it? No, wait, the mice need to have catnip in it. We should get catnip. We need this thing that moves, I think. That's so cute. Um, it's a laser cat toy. Okay, so the first things we actually need are food. Let's look at food. I, can't think, uh, I think you guys are throwing too much stuff in here. 
Chino does like sharks. Do you think he would like this? No, that's a fish for my kitten. Those are cute. I like those. Go. I like them. This one's bigger. What are those? So we're gonna get these. This could have been a lot of things. That's super cute. It's called Super Hunter's Variety Pack. And it's catnip too, and then you attach it. And then this sticks to a surface, and then they can play with it by themselves. That's cute. Who knows it's not covered by the thing. That's cute. I can throw her. And nest. Oh my gosh, anything. they have so much stuff for cats. Definitely need cat treats. So we're trying to decide if we are going to put collars on our kittens. We would only use breakaway collars because they're going to be indoor outdoor cats. Yes, breakaway. But I still don't feel comfortable with it. But I do like the idea of it because then we can put a tag on them and if our cats get too far. Or a tracker. Or we could get them microchipped, yeah. So what do you guys think about the collars? Collars, yeah. Yes. All right, get your kitten a collar. Um, oh, look, at they have pink ones up there, Gabby. What about this? These move, but they're... Yeah, that's super cute. I'm having pink, because mine's a girl. Oh, come on. Blue, for sure. And it has little fishes on it. And is it breakaway? Yes. I don't even know how to get it. We'll pull. Okay, perfect. We've got treats and we've got toys. Now we need food. We're gonna use uh, one of the beds that doesn't fit our puppy anymore. Love yeah, tunnels. They do love tunnels. So Sophie wants them to have this auto feeder and we have one for our cat and I actually, whoa, break it. And I actually like the idea of this. I love the idea of this because Put it in the big ones and you slide it down. I know it's for bunnies or so, ha and hamsters. Yeah, I like the idea of Molly this. Molly needs this. This is what we use for our cat. And uh, like, I love Walmart. Walmart is so cheap. That would probably be $15 at the A pet store. Plastic and it's safe. $8.97 here. Yeah, all right, so we'll get that. Waterer is gonna be tricky. I wanna get something that we can oh, no. use in the winter. So I'm not sure. We might just use one of the bowls that we have at home currently. Now oh, that is adorable. Like little, a little tent. I want it. Oh, cat. Cat scratcher. Oh Rope. Oh, I'm setting this up today. And also, whatever. Oh, more carpet. So the thing about outdoor cats and is that, like that the thing about outdoor cats, I feel, is that they have a hundred trees for, as scratch but pads. If they're stuck in the stall, they will be stuck in the stall for just a few weeks. Then they should get this because it's nice, it's soft, you can scratch on. That's four chickens. Yeah, it's a chicken. Off. Or it's cat food made out of chickens. I don't know. I think it's cat food made out of chickens. I think it's for for chickens. It's not for chickens. Okay. Well, why would you feed chicken chickens? So Sophie, so Gabby thinks that food with chickens on it is for chickens, and food with cats on it is for cats. I'm pretty sure and it's all for cats. Fish on it is for fish. And this is fish food. Yeah, that is not how it works, Gabby. She's a smart girl most of the time. She dyes her hair purple, and all of a sudden she's not as smart. <sighs> So cats are not like puppies as much. Like cats typically don't have problems when they move home. When they move homes, they usually will just eat whatever you give them. This is more than what's in a bag. That's cute. Is that is it for cat and kittens or puppies? Cats, but dogs can also have it. Puppies. All right, we are in the tea section now, and we're looking for clover tea. I want to try it and see how it makes me you feel. You are after tea. You have to pee, so we should leave. We got all of our cat stuff. Pull the cart back there. We found, we, they have everything but clover. Everything but clover. Chocolate. They have chocolate tea. Chocolate no, tea? No, that's chocolate milk. Hot chocolate. Please tell me that people get used to shopping with masks. Holy heck. It makes you hot. Were you guys hot? No. But it gets my kids shopping done and out of the store really fast. They're like, let's go. I can't take it! Yep. Molly's a little excited. Oh, 
monkey. Heated. This is heated. It's a pet bowl that's heated. I like it. That's really cool. Could we hang, could we plug that in the barn? Yes. Yeah, in our barn. Yeah, there's lots of spots to plug it in. That'd be great for the cats for winter. What is it? It's dog shampoo. And it's Extra cute. gentle conditioning shampoo. Oh. Molly, sit. Sit. Mm. Okay, so we're at TSC because I want to look at chicken stuff. So we, had, I found the water thing. we, need we want one of these for in our field. Oh, oh I love that. It just comes down. So this is only $30. This can't just be $30. I love it. What do you guys think of that though? You fill it in the top with a hose? Huh. I like it. Do you not like yeah, it? We don't have a hose at the house. So this would be awkward for us because we wouldn't be able to fill it. But this is neat because you could attach this to your chicken coop and make a bigger run. This is cool too. For birds to go outside. I'm still looking for a chicken feed waterer. So I really want like a big waterer. These are small. These are smaller than what I already have. And they're 15% off. Big problem here is that everybody on earth has chickens now because of COVID and there's none left. They've got nothing here for us to buy. Nothing. Except this one, which I'm kind of tempted to buy. What do you guys think? You guys know if I bought a uh, incubator, I could already hatch another set of chickens. I had to take this off when I went to the bathroom because I couldn't breathe. I know, they're terrible. They have the kind that we already have that you put the nipples in, but I think ours wasn't working. It's about to pour, you guys. I'm so excited. Excited for all this rain, all this heat to go away. Still supposed to be hot week, but maybe not as hot. Forgot I wanted to get butter at the store. The humidity outside right now is outrageous. Like it's so hot and humid. It's like, I almost feel soaked just from being outside. The humidity is so high. It's supposed to be a severe thunderstorm. We're supposed to like trees down everything. So we're gonna bring the horses in for that. And like I said, I'm reading this really good book and I'm at like the climax. Part of our plan for keeping our kittens here in the barn is we're gonna keep them like in the barn for the first couple of weeks. So we're gonna keep them in this stall. We're going to set everything up in here and then we're gonna take them out and let them get used to the barn and figure it and like I just really am against barn cats because I don't like them wandering around like in the middle of the night when I can't watch them and I hate dead cats. Like I hate that their life expectancy and outdoor cats life expectancy is like two and a half years. And that really bothers me. It makes me nervous. I mean, I handle death well. But Sophie's so super excited. She finally got to go shopping for her pet. Right? Yeah. I know people are going to say, that's not fair. Sophie should have got a cat and Gabby should have got nothing. How do you feel about that? It's okay because my kid needs a friend. Yeah, good. You're such a, an amazing woman. Oh, no. so, I mean, essentially, we got two kittens because our what having a friend will help keep our other kitten here like i don't want a little boy that's gonna run off and but kittens are solitary creatures actually so these are things that we got for our kitten sophie got a bunch of treats she ended up getting a whole package of treats we also got two chicken flavors it came with two chicken flavors it came like this so she decided to do that for treats we have this cute little toy which the balls come out. Yeah, because they're babies, so she wants them to have toys. Okay, so next thing we got is a little food container. We open it up here and put food in. Because I think it would be better so that they don't spill it as much. Yeah, and so that we don't and like... we don't have to feed them like every single day. Yeah. So some people believe... Sophie, did you know that some people believe that cats shouldn't get fed in, bar in the barn because they should go out there and eat all the animals and that's their feeding? They eat, like, they can eat food and the yeah, animals. Yeah, that's what we believe. 
like if they come across like a chipmunk or something, what do you think they're gonna do? So it moves, it runs. yeah, chipmunks are our nemesis in our barn. They're eating everything. We got this. Gabby and I voted on this kitty litter pan because you can carry it. You guys know how much I love our buckets that are made out of a similar material. I think it's super cool. Okay, we got this toy for uh, Chino. Yeah. So we're gonna put this in the arena and it's gonna be for Chino and oh and Ruby and Molly's like, it's for me! It's actually a dog toy. We're giving it to Chino. Okay, next thing we have is a little fish toy on a stick and we can uh, put this on surfaces. It won't stick to that. You just lick the wall where Finny poops. Watch, it won't stick to that. We'll have to go like this. There we go. It also has catnip in it, and Ruby thinks, or Molly thinks it's amazing. <laughs> Molly, it's not for you. We also got these squeaky little mice. And the yellow one's gonna be for Ollie, and the pink one's gonna be for Gabby's kitten. We don't know what Gabby's gonna call it yet. Got Molly some dog treats. We got Molly more dog treats. Molly and Ruby. They're like, what's in there for me? They're so used to us buying everything for them. And last but not least, we got two little collars. They're really cute. They, don't worry, they are right away. Gabby's out there doing all the work while we make this video. Do you see the sweat on Gabby's face, though? I have sweat? What? Yeah, you have sweat everywhere. Um, so... So this is the pink and white one. Or the, yeah, the pink one. And it has a little bell. Which is not good because then mice will hear her coming. But then we can also know where they always are. I know, but, but they won't be fitting into these when they're big enough to catch mice. And this is for Sophie's little Ollie, a blue one. Gabby, do you know what your horse's name is yet? Kim. Yeah. Yeah, Stella. Stella. Every Stella dies. Every Stella dies. We only ever had one Stella. But she died. I know, but Gabby wants to remember her. So if this one dies, Stella's not a good name. <laughs> but it's very All right. I got Ollie this one because it has a little fish. Little fish on it. And it's blue. And it's blue. All right, so that is it. So oh, and we will show you this later, but it's coming in a couple of days. Yeah, literally our kittens are coming in a couple of days. Because Finn's going to get a brother and they're going to be BFFs. Maybe Finn will like kittens. All right, so Sophie's going to get this all set up over there. That's the kind of food that they chose. I know it's not the best food. It's probably not the worst food, but that's the food that they chose. So you're going to put your kitty litter in the corner there. and We might get some other food when that food's done to see what they like, like the most. Okay. We also are going to use Molly's little pink bed that Gabby has because Molly doesn't fit in it. It's so super comfortable. I know the cats will like it. So you guys, yeah, I hit on something. I literally question everything. I like watch and pay attention to everything and then I try and figure everything out. Finn's like, whoa, what is it? Oh, look at Finn likes it. Molly over there trying to slink away. She's like, I hate the horses. All right, so horses are in for the rain. See, he loves it, you guys. See, I knew he would like toys. Look at him, his ears are going back and forth. Let him put it in his mouth. It's a, it's a toy for you, Chino Bambino. We got less cheap and went out and bought one. And then Stormy's like, let me do it because it's mine. Don't scare him. Molly. Smart move. My horses are smart. Molly wants it. <laughs> I think he likes it though. Throw it for them. Uh, anyways, the whole point of that toy is that once we drop it on the ground and leave the room, that's when Chino will really get into it. That's what he always does. All our other toys are destroyed. He stepped on them, chewed them to bits, and so now, now we're left with buying him toys. Oh, I feel the rain. I felt rain. 
Chino loves it. I'm telling you, Chino's the kind of horse that I always dreamed of. He's the kind of horse that likes noises. Hi, I, I don't, I've got nothing. Why are you coming to me? I got the wrong shoes on again. I got the shopping shoes on. Hey, Vinny, I went to look at them. Oh, so what I was saying before is that I noticed that all the slobbering that Finn's been doing also coincided with the fact that he's been mega calm, like never before been this good in his whole entire life. And it all coincided at the same time as the clover came into the field. And then I'm like, oh, I have to check. And so I was looking up and I tried to buy some clover tea today. I was checking, 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 trying to figure out if it has a calming effect. It gets rid of anxiety. Clover gets rid of anxiety. It's an anti-anxiety herb. Yeah. So maybe Finn has anxiety, but for whatever, like it does absolutely 100% affect him in a positive way. And I have to tell you guys something else. I haven't said this yet in our videos, but one thing about Finn that is insane is that any Calm medications affect him the opposite way. Like if I give him magnesium, he goes wild. Any supplement that I've given him to make him calm has made him wild and crazy. So I can't, he can't take that kind of stuff. He just, it's just not in his makeup, but Clover is working for him. So I'm gonna talk to my vet, he comes on Monday and I am going to see if I can like add some herbal Clover to Finn's diet. There are some conditions that can be caused by Clover. Uh, from the mold in clover, so I don't know if it will work out, but if it can work out, you better believe that I might do that. All right, Sophie says she's got it all set up. There Why it is. Did you, move that? you didn't put any cat food in or any kitty litter. Oh, you did put the kitty litter in. We don't want the chipmunks to eat food. Good thinking. Good thinking, farm girl. Oh, that was my thought. She's like, should we have food? I'm like, no. Ruby. Good thinking, farm girl. And I kind of just threw the toys over. And the puppies would probably eat it too. Molly. Yes. We don't want anything on this side that can make them climb up and get out. Well, the kitty litter is staying right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Good job. Here's an update on our weed situation. Let me show you from the front. Almost gone, you guys. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't you know?